one of the one million Albertans who live, work, and play close to Alberta's forests, this is your worst nightmare. Along with your family and few prized possessions, you make the slow journey away from danger. Now, this scenario isn't just imaginary. In fact, it would be deja vu for those who were forced to flee Fort McMurray in 2016, Slave Lake in 2019, and many other communities over recent summers. Yet each and every time heading towards the other direction are the brave service members of Alberta Wildfire. The public agency aims to operate cost effectively. However, that's a bit harder to achieve on the ground where the tough calls are being made. Individual incident commanders have a role in deciding should we be sending ground crews or equipment, ground support or air support, and how do the decisions I make risk the lives of Albertans, including those of my colleagues? Yearly costs associated with these critical decisions will range from $100 million to over $800 million. Now, of course, these costs will rise in years with more fire activity, but further details have been hazy. Are environmental conditions like rain and wind solely responsible for determining wildfire suppression expenditures? Or do human variables also matter? As Alberta wildfire tackles the flames every year, this year Applied Economics is here to help clear the smoke. And just as how firefighters have their tools as an applied economist, I have mine too. Experiments, machine learning, and statistical modeling. Using these tools, I'm offering a fresh perspective on the wildfire suppression question. That is, how do environmental and human variables, as well as the intersections between these factors, play a role in determining wildfire suppression costs? Currently, I'm running a series of online experiments with Alberta's incident commanders. I want to find out how participants' degree of risk aversion, demonstrated through standardized economic experiments, might be shown as risk aversion on the job. Later on, I'm taking this experiment data, as well as existing Alberta wildfire records, and applying machine learning and statistical modeling to find out how these human and environmental variables play a role in determining wildfire suppression expenditures. Now, fire events are becoming more severe, more frequent, and more intense year by year. So wildfire management agencies need to be supported with empirical research that evaluates what's been done in the past and going forward, how best practices can be made even better. My research will generate evidence-based recommendations, helping Alberta Wildfire continue to deliver its mission over the years to come.